ABC News Network identified the case of former state representative Steve Nunn's murder of his ex-fiancee Amanda Ross as a subject of its new series, Revenge for Real. ABC anchor Chris Cuomo and a production crew spent the week in Lexington interviewing participants in the investigation and prosecution of this murder case. This story will give you a behind the scenes look of the ABC production. But first, some background of the case. Stephen Roberts Nunn, murder, violation of a Kentucky EPO DV. A Kentucky lawmaker will spend the rest of his life in prison. Steve Nunn pleaded guilty today to the murder of his fiancee. As Amanda Ross was leaving her downtown residence for work on September 11, 2009, she was shot and killed by her ex-fiance, Steve Nunn, a former Republican lawmaker for the state of Kentucky. Later that day, police found Nunn at the burial site of his parents in Hart County with a firearm. Nunn had slit his wrists and told investigators he was sorry he didn't finish the job. He said he was at the end of his rope and he wanted revenge. Nunn fired his gun in the direction of the Kentucky State Troopers and was charged with six counts of wanton endangerment and was taken into custody. In the spring of 2009, protective orders were entered against Steve Nunn for his physical assaults of Amanda. Amanda became fearful of her life and was scared of what Nunn would do. Amanda took all the correct precautions and consistently communicated with domestic violence advocates. Unfortunately, a piece of paper can only take a domestic violence victim so far. In the month following the entry of the protective order against Nunn, and before the resolution of the assault charge, Nunn resigned from his position as Deputy Secretary of the Cabinet for Health and Family Services, which oversees the state's domestic violence programs. Nunn became convinced that Amanda was ruining his life, and he wanted revenge. On the morning of September 11, 2009, Nunn got his revenge. He shot Amanda Ross three times, twice in the head and once in the chest. Steve Nunn was indicted with murder and violation of Kentucky EPO DVO. When someone commits a murder with an act of protective order against them, then the case becomes eligible for the death penalty. Commonwealth's attorney Ray Larson decided to seek the death penalty for Steve Nunn. On June 28, 2011, Steve Nunn pled guilty to the murder of his ex-fiance, and he will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. ABC News anchor Chris Cuomo believed that this case would be the perfect kind of story to tell on Revenge for Real, a limited ABC News series that will be aired on March 7th and March 14th at 10 p.m. on the ABC television network. Cuomo made a trip to the horse capital to get the story and interviewed Commonwealth's attorney Ray Larson, lead investigator Detective Todd Eddings, Amanda Ross's mother Diana Ross, and a few others. I was wondering what interested you all in the Steve Nunn case? Well, I think there are a lot of elements about this that are very interesting for people. You have the background of where we are, who these families were, obviously Mr. Nunn's father, the ex-governor of Kentucky, uh, the Ross family having such deep roots in the community and have so much social activism. So you had people that you believe don't find their ways into trouble. Mm -hmm. And then a story about someone who had such aspirations, you know, many believe that Steve Nunn who was in the state legislature, such a big advocate for women, maybe he would be governor himself. Right. And to wind up this way, the worst kind of violence, the type of violence that he himself fought against, it's just all very intriguing and also very sad. When this happened, one of the things that came out of it was Amanda's Law. And that was very new at the time, the idea that we would take domestic violence more seriously. It's been very difficult. As an attorney myself, uh, I know from my own practice background that it was tough to get the courts to recognize that uh, women had been abused even though they didn't leave. That was always the old scenario. Well, if it happened, why did you stay? Mm -hmm. Now we know better. And Amanda's law of tracking, watching people who have EPOs, as you say here, emergency protection orders, is very valuable. Steve Nunn was sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison. Sadly, Steve Nunn sentenced the family of Amanda Ross to a life of grief and what ifs. Thanks for watching this special episode of Lexington Prosecutor News Online.